tapply is a very useful function, uh, and it's used to apply a function over subsets of a vector. So the idea is basically, imagine you have a vector, uh, usually it's going to be numbers, so a numeric vector, um, and there are there are pieces of this vector that you want to calculate a summary statistic over. So, um, and so you, you're going to have to have another variable or another uh, object which identifies which element of this of your numeric vector belongs to which group. And the idea is that for each group in the numeric vector, you're going to calculate a summary statistic like a mean or a standard deviation or whatever. So, uh, the basic idea behind t apply uh, is that the first uh, argument is a numeric vector. Um, or a vector of some sort. Uh, the second argument is, is, is another vector of the same length um, um, which, uh, which identifies which group each element of the numeric vector is in. So for example, if there are two groups, suppose you have a men and women, for example, in two groups, and maybe the first 50 observations are men and the second 50 observations are women, then you need to have a, an, a factor variable which indicates you know, which, which observations are men and which, which are women. And so if you want to take the, the, the mean of the numeric vector within men and within women, then you can use t apply to do this. So fun is the function that you want to apply. Um, and so this is going to be the same as before. It's going to be the, either a function or you can pass in an, an, an anonymous function. Um, and then the dot, dot, dot contains the other arguments that may go to this function. Uh, and then the simplify argument indicates whether you want to simplify the argument, simplify the results, kind of like the s apply simplification. So here's a very, very simple example. Um, I'm simulating a vector uh, of, of normal random variables and uniform random variables, and and there's ten normals, ten uniforms, and then ten normals that have a mean of one. So you can think of this vector as having, as having three groups. So then I'm going to create another. A factor variable using uh, the GL function, and it's going to be a, this factor variable is going to have three levels, uh, and each level is going to be repeated ten times. So when I print out the factor variable here, you can see that there's ten ones, uh, there's ten twos, and there's ten threes. Uh, so each, so that the factor variable indicates kind of which group the the observation is in. So now I can I can t apply on x pass up the factor variable f and the mean function, and that allows me to take the mean of each group uh, of numbers in, in x. Um, if you don't simplify the result, then what you get back is going to be a list. So, uh, so t apply applied to the same uh, numeric vector and factor as on the previous slide. Uh, when I calculate the mean, and I say simplify equals false. Uh, then I get back a list with three elements, and, e and in each element of the list is the mean of that subgroup. Uh, I, I can pass it a slightly more complicated uh, summary statistic. So here, instead of calculating the mean, which, which returns one number, uh, I'm going to calculate the range of observations. So this gives me the min and the max of the observations within that subset of the vector x. And so here, I'm getting a list where each element is uh, a vector of length 2.